What if the key to triumph on the modern battlefield wasn't brute force, but a perfect blend of agility, firepower, and innovation? After four decades of reliance on battle tanks like the Abrams, the U.S. Army finally unveils a provocative contender, the M10 Booker, formerly known as Mobile Protected Firepower, or MPF. With its fully traversable turret, a potent 105mm main gun, and the ability to navigate terrains that would confound traditional tanks, the M10 Booker has ignited a fierce debate among military circles. Is it a light tank or a harbinger of a new era in armored warfare? How does it measure up against the battle-hardened Abrams? And why has the Army poured over $1.14 billion into this audacious venture? In today's episode, we invite you to explore the world of the M10 Booker, diving into its unique features, design decisions, roles in combat, and the vision behind its inclusion in the United States Army's weaponry. First things first, how come this tank-shaped combat vehicle being labeled as anything other than a tank? Truth be told, the initial response from some Army officials and defense media has characterized the M10 Booker as a new light tank. Back in October 2021, in his remarks at the Association of the U.S. Army Conference, the service's top officer, General James McConville, declared this brand new combat vehicle as our next light tank. One of those 24 systems is our new light tank. However, an official associated with the MPF program within the Army considered this inaccurate, maintaining that such classification denies the vehicle's unique mission and capabilities. The M10 Booker essentially presents itself as a compelling fusion, bridging the gap between the conventional Abrams tank and a nimble infantry support vehicle. At first glance, it's hard to overlook the striking parallels between the M10 Booker and the M1 Abrams tank, a resemblance that has earned it the captivating moniker of the Mini Abrams. This nickname primarily stems from several key design similarities between the two vehicles. Both are fully tracked vehicles equipped with a four-person crew, a 360-degree turret, a large caliber 105mm M35 tank gun, and a commander's independent thermal viewer. However, the M10 Booker serves a distinct role when compared to the M1 Abrams. The Mini Abrams nickname is therefore more of a visual association and less a reflection of their identical capabilities on the battlefield. Then. What set this war machine apart from a light tank? The M10 Booker does not fall into the category of light tanks primarily due to its deviation from the conventional traits and functions associated with modern light tanks. Light tanks, in their essence, are known for their emphasis on mobility over heavy armor, setting them apart from the main battle tanks like the M1 Abrams. While the M10 Booker may not be as weighty as the Abrams, tipping the scales at around 38 to 42 tons compared to the Abrams' 74 tons, it decidedly transcends the weight limit typically associated with light tanks, typically ranging from 20 to 25 tons. What truly distinguishes the M10 Booker is its exceptional armor protection. A feature that defies the conventional notion of light tanks as lightly shielded vehicles. One key aspect where light tanks typically differ from their larger counterparts is in their armament. Light tanks generally deploy smaller caliber guns, typically ranging from 20 to 40 millimeters, designed primarily for infantry support and reconnaissance missions. The M10 Booker, on the other hand, is equipped with a 105mm main gun, a caliber more in line with the weaponry found on main battle tanks. This substantial firepower positions the M10 Booker to engage heavily armored adversaries, further underscoring its departure from the typical light tank archetype. In terms of operational roles, light tanks are fundamentally tailored for reconnaissance, scouting, 
and providing support to infantry units. They excel in situations that demand swiftness, agility, and the ability to traverse challenging terrains with ease. In stark contrast, the mission of the M10 Booker aligns more with that of an infantry fighting vehicle or a light armored vehicle, as it is engineered to deliver armored support to infantry units on the battlefield, often operating in close proximity to ground troops. The Booker's agility allows it to provide infantry support in places where the Abrams cannot. It boasts an upgraded engine, enabling a 24-hour runtime and a 350-mile range, surpassing the Abrams by 100 miles. The crew composition and protection measures also highlight the divergence between light tanks and the M10 Booker. Light tanks typically operate with smaller crews, often consisting of two or three personnel, relying heavily on their speed and maneuverability for protection. In contrast, the M10 Booker accommodates a crew of four individuals and offers enhanced crew protection and survivability features, underlining its commitment to safeguarding its personnel, even in more intense combat scenarios. The U.S. Army is reportedly granting a $1.14 billion contract to General Dynamics Land Systems for the M10 Booker program. This vehicle is priced at $13 million per unit, covering spare parts and the expenses related to its deployment and training. What drives the Army to make this move? The timing for the MPF platform's introduction is influenced by lessons learned from Russia's conflict in Ukraine. NATO observed that existing U.S. infantry combat brigade teams would be vulnerable against enemy armor in a similar scenario. The Booker's smaller size and diesel engine make it more suitable for rapid deployment a critical consideration in an era where adversaries possess long-range ballistic missiles. It offers expeditionary troops the ability to swiftly deploy with armored support, a necessity in today's unpredictable geopolitical landscape. The M10 Booker serves as a testament to the military's determination to adapt and stay ahead of the curve. Could Booker's unique capabilities alongside infantry forces usher in a new era of military strategy? Share your thoughts in the comment section below.